July 9th, remember that? July 9th, actually the last time that we had a named storm. It's been a month since we've had a named storm, and here we stand on August 9th, and we're on the cusp of where we typically see that activity in the tropics begin to increase. In fact, we are already beginning to see that activity increase, and that will likely go all the way through September 10th, which is the peak of hurricane season. Let me take you down into the western Atlantic now as these two disturbances approach the eastern Caribbean, Invest 94L and Invest 93L. We'll start with 93L, which has a low chance of development over the next five days. Right now, a 30% chance of developing as it approaches the Leeward Islands, but 94L is starting to look a little more organized. There's still relatively disorganized showers and storms, but the trough of low pressure associated with that tropical wave is beginning to deepen and we will likely see gradual development with this as it moves across the Leeward Islands into the Virgin Islands, Hispaniola, and potentially farther west into Cuba. Right now, a 60% chance that it develops into a tropical depression or tropical storm. We might even see some tropical storm watches in effect for the Caribbean sometime over the next couple of days. That will be something to keep an eye on. The forecast models in good agreement, but the good news is that it looks like it'll be moving over a lot of mountainous terrain, which will really limit any development. But once it moves into the Florida Straits and beyond, we'll see forecast models uncertain at that point on, on where it goes and what happens. But at this point, obviously, something to keep an eye on as it starts to move closer to the Caribbean over the next day or so. Guys? 